devices did you start with? How many were we had? We had 23 when we started. We had 23 paddle craft, and we have built it up to, we have about 120 paddle craft now. So did you start more with kayaks? Yeah, we had eight stand-up paddle boards, and now we have about 50. By having the pedal boats, kayaks for one or two people, so we can always accommodate to have everybody in a group. Nobody is left on the beach. It's just so much fun sending families out, you know. The kids just, you know, have a ball. But I'm gonna guess you have some people who've never been in a kayak or have never tried their balance on a stand-up paddle board. What are the reactions when people come back in? Oh, they absolutely love it. You know, we make sure that they're properly um, paddling whenever they send, when we send them out. You know, and the main thing is on the stand-up paddle board is you have to stand up straight. And you want to keep the board moving because then the fin, it's like being on a bicycle. When you're moving, you don't have to put your feet down for balance. When you're just standing on the bicycle and, and come to a stop, you have to put your feet down or you'll fall over. So on the stand-up paddle board, it's exactly, basically the same principle because the fin, when you're moving at a three or four mile an hour walking speed, the fin provides that balance because the water pressure over that fin in the moving water keeps you upright. Well, Super Dave, I'm up for a stand-up paddle board ride if you are up to, to take me out on yeah, the water. let's go. Good? Let's go. Uh-huh, yeah, it's a great day for paddling. Watch the full episode or explore more unique places on the Missouri Life YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button below to stay up to date with the latest content.